Constraints is our next interaction design principle. And this principle has to do with what the user is able to do and how we limit the potential actions they can take to guide them towards an appropriate path of use for the interface. These can be graphics, they can be uh, physical, and a very important paper on this topic was written by Briggs Almore and Hiroshi Ishii called Token and Constraints, which sort of outlines the foundations of this principle. You can look that up on your own. An example of a constraint in the system, right, is we're all familiar with computer software and we go to select an item from the menu and it's grayed out. We can't. So we know it's available, but it's not something we can do right now. That's a constraint. Another good example is the um, child's toy. It has all the different uh, shapes, wooden blocks, a triangle, a cylinder, a sphere, a cube. And then there's a large box with holes for all these different shapes. But only the triangle will fit in the triangle one, only the cube will fit in the cube one. Right? So those are physical constraints on that system. And here is uh, another video from MIT Media Lab, which shows a different interactive system using bottles as a constraint system.